Hey everyone and welcome back to the classroom. Viruses can cripple your computer and even put your personal data at risk, but with the right steps, you can remove them and keep your system safe. In today's video, we're going to show you five essential virus removal tips to help you stay protected. So let's dive right in. First up, the most important thing to do when you suspect a virus is to run a full system scan with your antivirus software. Okay, I have a quick tip for you before we start. Create a system restore point on your computer before a viral cleanup. Sometimes, viral infections can tie themselves to system critical files and get accidentally removed during a viral cleanup. So do yourself a favor and create a system restore point to roll back to should any weird issues come up after the cleanup. Use a trusted antivirus program like Malwarebytes, Bitdefender, or Sophos Home to scan your entire system. Make sure to run a full scan, not just a quick scan, so that every file and folder is checked for threats. These programs will identify any files, viral in nature, and give you options to quarantine or remove them. Here we've installed Bitdefender Free, and we'll run a quick scan. Regular scans can catch viruses early before they cause major damage, so make this a habit. We'll have links to a few suggested free antivirus apps in the video notes. Next, if you suspect your antivirus software isn't getting the job done, it's time to bring in the heavy hitters, dedicated malware removal tools. Tools like ADW Cleaner, Malwarebytes, and Rogue Killer are designed to remove specific types of malware, including adware, spyware, and rogue programs that your regular antivirus might miss. They attack viral files in a different manner than most antivirus apps. Run these programs in addition to your antivirus app to ensure you get rid of any stubborn infections. These tools often find those hidden threats that slip through the cracks, especially unwanted browser hijackers or adware that slows down your system. Here we have Rogue Killer running a scan to seek out any uglies on our system. Again, by using these specialized tools, you can clean out the malware that typical antivirus softwares might overlook or can't detect. We'll have links to these malware apps in the video notes too. Another easy way to avoid getting infected in the first place is to keep your system and software up to date. For keeping third-party apps like Chrome, Adobe Reader, Firefox, and others, we like to use a wonderful free software app called Patch My PC. It will scan your system for outdated apps and update accordingly. Let's download Patch My PC and run a quick update with it. Keeping your system updated is one of the easiest ways to stay protected from the latest threats. Outdated software can have security vulnerabilities that hackers exploit to sneak in malware and install viruses. Make sure you regularly update your operating system, drivers, and programs to patch these vulnerabilities. In Windows, you can go to Settings, then Update and Security to check for updates. It's a good idea to enable automatic updates so you don't miss important security patches. Now, 
If your computer is too infected to run a scan or even boot up properly, don't worry. You can still correct this and remove viruses using a bootable antivirus scanner. Tools like Avira Rescue System or Dr. Web Live Disk allow you to boot from a USB drive or DVD, scanning and removing malware without needing to load into your operating system. Download the tool, create the bootable drive, and restart your computer from the USB. Now let's download a program called Rufus to make the USB bootable. We'll also toss some links for these two in the show notes. Bootable antiviruses are great for removing deep-rooted viruses that can prevent your system from starting up normally. This method gives you access to your system, even when viruses try to lock you out. Okay, so now let's boot to the USB we just created. We should be able to do this from within Windows with a little trick. Click on the Start menu, click the Power button, and while holding down the Shift key on your keyboard, click Restart. Hold Shift until it says Please Wait. You'll get an option screen. Let's select Use a Device, and then select your USB device. All right, it'll boot you into your bootable AV app, and you can run a scan. Finally, make sure you're using a firewall and have real-time protection enabled. These tools act as your first line of defense against viruses and malware. Two decent free alternate firewall options would be Zone Alarm Firewall and Komodo Firewall. There are several really good firewall software options out there, but at the very least, you should be using the Windows Firewall built into your Windows OS. Go to Windows Security and make sure your firewall is turned on. A firewall monitors your incoming and outgoing connections, blocking suspicious activity. Also, ensure that your antivirus software's real-time protection is enabled. This feature automatically scans files as they're accessed, preventing viruses from running in the first place. Let's install the Zone Alarm firewall now so you can see it in action. By using a firewall and real-time protection, you're creating an extra layer of security to keep your system safe. Now, if you have a current antivirus in place, you may get a warning about a conflict. In most cases, you'll be okay. And there you have it. Five essential tips to remove viruses, malware, and stay protected. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tech tips, and let me know in the comments if you have any other virus removal tricks.